Now let's check in on the markets. Joining us from Comsec is Tom Petrovsky. Tom, how are the markets overnight? Uh, Danica, we're going to come in for a bit of a knock when the markets kick off later on this morning. The futures are telling us the ASX 200 will be down by a half of 1%. It's essentially a continuation of the theme that dominated the uh, back end of last week where uh, investors are still fretting that the central banks of the world are going to raise rates to the extent where uh, growth and earnings are going to be compromised. So uh, last night we saw uh, interest rates move higher, both uh, two and 10 year government bonds uh, were higher in yield, lower in price, and uh, that was one of the headwinds as far as stocks were concerned. So uh, particularly the uh, technology cohort, so the NASDAQ down 1.7%, the broader market, of the S&P 500 a short time ago, uh, down by around 1.2%. So there's quite a bit of uh, company specific news around. Uh, Disney is a bit of a talking point for the fact that we've just completed the opening weekend for uh, their new uh, title uh, Avatar, the uh, Waterworld version, and the earnings over the course of the weekend from this film uh, have disappointed expectations in terms of what they've generated in the United States. They were at the lower bound of what they were looking for, around 134 odd million dollars were uh, raked in because of the film. The um, analysts were expecting something substantially higher, uh, around 175 uh, million dollars. So uh, there are comparisons being made to the first Avatar film in 2009, which um, actually went on to become the most highest grossing film. It had uh, $77 million in its opening weekend by comparison. So uh, that's an interesting comparison. But uh, Disney shares are lower, actually hitting their lowest level uh, so far this year. They're down by about 40% uh, 40 in year-to-date terms. Tom, thank you.